Okay, been looking forward to this one. All right, I'm gonna have me a seat, get talking about this one. And Hammer, NV Tour, NV Tour Pearl. Uh, if you're watching this video, you probably know, and if you don't know, they come out with an NV Tour about a year ago, maybe a little less than that. It was a solid, it was all black, um, all black balls, really good to throw down the line because you don't see anything and you can just ignore it. Some people don't like that, some people do, I do. Although I really don't care, I'll throw one with a bunch of colors or without. But I think for me, because I'm too subconscious, if I see what the ball's doing going down there, I'll start to get that in my head because, you know, I'm insecure like that, I guess. But anyway, uh, so anyway, a lot of people like the Inventor Solid. I did not drill it. Um, I kind of regret not drilling it. A lot of people loved it. Uh, but when the Inventor Pearl came out, I thought, well, I'm definitely drilling that. I do like all silver bowling balls as well. Always had a, a place in my heart for, for the all silver ones, the old silver foxes. And I just wanted to see what it would do after everybody, uh, you know, really raved about the original NV Tour. So I'm looking at the specs, right? And the specs look like, okay, lower RG, nothing super strong for an ASIM. So I'm thinking anything that says Tour on it, it's going to be like, you know, kind of tame and predictable. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, but it wasn't in a very great way. It wasn't smooth and predictable, but it was the opposite of that, but in a very great way. So make sure I'm saying that right. Um, one of my favorites in my bag. This thing goes everywhere with me. Uh, this thing, based off the specs, I was not expecting the kind of reaction I get out of this ball. Uh, super surprised in a great way with this ball. Uh, the layout I ended up going with, I got a little um, a little bit out of my norm with this one. It's not like it's too crazy of a layout or anything, but it's a little out of my norm with this one. I went with um, 30 for my first angle, which I haven't done that in quite a while. If you watch my videos, you'll have a hard time finding me doing a video with my first angle being 30. But I went with 30 for my first angle. I don't know if you can see that in there, 30. And then for my pin distance, I went with five and a half. Also, if you watch all my videos, not too many of them with that type of pin distance. I think I do have a one or two in there, but not much. So also a little out of my norm. And then for the back angle, 35. Well, that's pretty normal for me on that last angle. But the first two numbers, definitely out of the norm for me. Uh, but I knew I had a good feeling that this ball was gonna be, with the cover was gonna be really clean in the fronts. Um, so I picked 30. Um, just trying to get the ball going. And I don't know if maybe that's why I love it so much. I don't know. I, I've seen other people throw it and it looks great for them as well. So, uh, but that's the, the layout I went for with this ball. And yeah, I, um, you'll get to see on the lanes. I guess I'll talk about it more there, but this ball's really got some pop down lane. If you're bowling somewhere with friction and you want a ball to be able to make the turn and, and continue through the pins, I'm going to show you how this ball does that. It, it, it's really good at that. So I've got plenty of games on this one already. I've kind of laxed a little bit getting my videos out. And not only that, but I think we're going to get a chance to see Mrs. Boom uh, with this ball. Um, we're trying to free her up. She's been really, she's been busier than me. So she's not had a chance to really bowl much lately. Um, but we're going to try to give you guys uh, an extra look with her as well. So hopefully we can get her in the video. If I don't get her in the video, I apologize for even bringing it up. But hopefully we'll get her in the video throwing it as well. So you'll get to see two. Uh, type of people throwing it. Now, she has hardly any hand at all. She plays straight up the boards, very low revs, medium speed, and loves this ball. I, on the other hand, medium speed probably at best. Um, I've been doing better at picking up my speed a little bit, but by medium speed and a little on the higher revs, nothing too crazy. Uh, and, I, and totally, two totally different reactions, but same result, strikes. So let's get a chance to show you guys what I'm talking about and get it going. All right. Okay. Here we go. We get to talk about the old Silver Fox. NV Tour Pearl. This ball has been really fun to throw. 
Uh, just finished up with the Verge Hire, the Hazmat, the Hammer Hazmat, right about here. So I'm gonna go two left. Move my target in one. Uh, that'll probably make it back. Yeah. I had projected it a little bit further than I wanted to, but I knew it was close enough. I've thrown that ball a lot. Very familiar with what that ball can and can't do. It can strike a lot. <laughs> if I give it a chance. So, give me to a pearl. I'll probably repeat myself from the intro a little bit and the extra outro, but um, follow up from the Envy Tour. Uh, I really hope they come out with a hybrid. I didn't throw, drill up the original um, solid Envy Tour, uh, but I love this ball. I know a lot of people love the original solid Envy Tour. And if they come out with an Envy Tour hybrid, I absolutely will drill it. And I recommend you do too, along with this one. Now, this one here I talked about earlier, it's very clean in the fronts. You'll see that, and I've got the first angle at 30, so we should pick up a pretty good pace early on, but it still gets to the fronts nice and clean, even with that uh, lower first angle. Um, and yeah, you'll get to see the reaction off the back. You've seen it off that last shot. I don't remember what I just did. Maybe I'll move here. A little closer to target. That's pretty good. Pretty good shot there. Maybe in just a touch. That's being pretty picky though. You've seen there, I missed right, it came back. I missed in, it stayed. I talked about earlier in this house for me, once again, this just works in this house for me. I go to another house, it may not be the same way, but the asymmetrical seem to give me the biggest room for error. Um, and that's just for me in this house. Other people are other things, but. Uh, it's close. I got it in a hair. And it just stuck in the oil a little bit. Projection was definitely down lane, but. What was that? Three shots in a row? Have not edited yet. This ball, I wouldn't say it would be good for everyone, but a lot of people, especially people bowl on in places with a lot of friction. If your place you bowl at has a lot of friction and you don't have this ball, cheating yourself. Try this again in this spot. Oh, fell off balance, but it should strike. Yeah. Yeah. I know I got it on target. The ball's just good, man. Just good. I don't know how else to how else to praise it. A lot of people think maybe I'm on here just bragging about balls because that's what I do. No, I may not necessarily talk terrible about a bowling ball, but I'm gonna tell you what its good points are. Maybe bring up some of its weaknesses uh, and then go from there. That's not bad. Ooh, did you see the 10 pin? <laughs> I seen that 10 pin. Might have to cut that and make that slow mo right there. Yeah. You know, on some of these reviews too, oh, you know, I like the ball. I like the ball in the house I bowl at. Um, definitely check out everyone's reviews and different takes and kind of weed through them. That's in, should hold. You know, because you get different people's takes, get what they like. Um, if I can get Mrs. Boom freed up before I edit this video, I'll throw have her throwing in it. She throws this ball, she loves it. She, you guys have seen her bowl in the past video. She doesn't have a whole lot of hand, uh, but she just squares up with this ball and she absolutely loves it because loves it she can trust what it's going to do. She knows when she lets go what the ball is going to do. So if I get a chance, I'll throw some of her shots in here. If not, if you don't see it, she was too busy. I couldn't get her in here. So, have another shot here. I'm gonna bump a little bit left. I think I can. Maybe just soften up a little bit. Got it way right. Still get away with it. So I just moved left, missed right, 
I did soften up, which I wanted to because I was moving left. And the ball still drives through the pins like that. It's just really impressive. Okay, I'm gonna stay that spot I just moved, stay soft. Oh, hit that way too hard, but I got it on target. Yeah, see? Like all kind of mistakes. Yeah, all right. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this ball, but we can talk more about it. First, we'll uh, do my clutch shot at the end. See if I can get lucky again. Okay, there you go. Went and took care of a customer. So yeah, what happens here? Let's see, are we getting ready to do a clutch shot? Right, my ending shot for this ball. And I'm not gonna change that, I'm not gonna cheat it. Things happen. Sometimes when you need that winning shot, lane breaks down, you still need that winning shot, right? So we'll try again. No confidence in this ball. Not so much confidence in me, but the ball, yeah. So we'll see. Pretty good. Oh, I lose. I finally threw a good shot and lost. All right, all my other videos, I threw the winning shot to bad and won. This one here, I threw a good and lost. That's how it works. But I ain't too bad. What is that? Three bad shots to win, one bad shot to lose. I like those odds. All right, let's go talk some more about it. Yeah, that's what I was telling you guys. How good this ball is. It's uh, just really fun to throw. Um, so I get a lot of use out of it. So, um, but yeah, uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Just hit that little subscribe button, like and share. Uh, get this channel growing. Uh, I want to keep making these videos for you guys to be able to inform you of, of all the information I can so that it will better help you choose bowling balls to get drilled up. Speaking of drilling bowling balls up, if you're near me in Vero Beach, come see me and get this thing drilled up. Uh, we can talk about what layout works for you. This is going to work for a lot of different people uh, in different instances, especially people that bowl in friction, which most of us run into nowadays, right? So thank you for subscribing, like I said. And until the next one, boom out.